What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Snap on Friday. Right there the man is. And there's the truck. If you notice, I got a brand new snap on hat. And I know you guys are like, hey, you didn't have that. Like you was waiting on Hamilton to get one and you ain't even went on the truck. How'd you get it? Well, that's cause my buddy Calvin Mann sent me this hat. He was at the meetup and he knew the story that I didn't get a chance to get on the truck that day. So he sent me a hat and some cool stuff. So let's kick this Friday off. Let's go, come on. Hey, finally, Friday. Finally, finally, finally. How cool is that? That Calvin Mann sent me a hat. That's pretty cool. Yep. We, uh, we have to take care of him when we get some more of them back in. Yeah, he uh, he did an awesome. It's nice to have I mean, great friends like that. I'd consider that him being a friend, do something yep. like that, you know. Because yep. I remember him and his wife come on here. I mean, he bought the, the hat because the same one I had right here. And, uh, that's pretty nice for him to send his only one back <laughs> well, to you. And he sent me a cool Prince Albert can to put in my studio. Oh, that's cool. And uh, wrote me a really cool note. Um, it was it was pretty cool. He was talking about how awesome the meetup was and knew that we put a lot of effort and time into planning it. And it went off well and he enjoyed it. And it was, was, it was This cool. was his first year here? Or mm -hmm. they come, yeah. yeah, he'll be back next year for sure. I hope he does because yeah. it's, it's going to be fun. I'll we'll have to get him a little VIP something next year. Yeah, have a VIP section. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> have and, him uh, and Cooter in. And he, he drank a beer with, with me during the band, so that puts him in like the executive club right yeah. there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool. Uh, That's fun. I'm, I'm, we were already planning next year, and we got a lot of cool stuff kind of in store for next year. It's going to be even better, so Be looking forward to it. Bigger and better. That's the plan. I'm going to keep growing every year. That way. Yeah. I wish I had the money to do two of them a year, but. It's... I know what y'all put into the first one. That'd be expensive. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Yeah. But it's fun, though. It's a the, lot of fun. Yeah, just the band itself was multiple thousands of dollars. So. Yeah. It's worth it, though. Those yeah, that was good. I had a good time. I ain't good time. Yeah. I was laughing my tail off at them Friday night with the band coming up here because they set up and they come flying up in here the whole crowd had to get out the way before we got ran over and stuff for me. <laughs> that dirty girl, he just laughing his tail off driving up through here. <laughs> the band spent some money though because they bought brand new monitor speakers and all that so they put it to good use what we paid them. Yeah well a lot of people like I said I mean the band like I said multiple thousands of dollars thinking well that's all profit now because their stuff wears out too mm -hmm. and when you mess with electrical stuff you know all these cameras and everything. I mean, one wire mess up, that can mess up everything. Yeah. Or you put an SD card in backwards and you ruin a So far in my camera. YouTube career, I dropped a camera and broke one. I drowned one in the ocean. And then I totaled <laughs> one out in Tampa. So I went <laughs> went through three Canon cameras that was pretty expensive for... <laughs> it's all the, about getting that right shot, though, ain't it? <laughs> for, the, for the pleasure of the viewing audience is, is the way I look at it right I know. You got a lot of flack over the uh, the one in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was, uh, it, it got drowned. It, it didn't make it. It tried, but it didn't make it. But I'd it use a GoPro for that one next time. <laughs> Salt water and Canon cameras, they don't mix. I'm just going to throw that out there in case anybody's wondering. They just, they don't mix well. Warranty ain't no, don't cover the, <laughs> yeah. the saltwater part, does it? <laughs> we we sent it in and they just pretty much laughed at us, you know. I was like, well, it was worth a shot, right? So. I, I sent a, a, a drill in for a fella a couple weeks ago and they called me. The guy ain't had it uh, three months. He bought it in the, in the set program, the student program. And uh, so I told him, I said, well, like, I need a copy of a receipt so I can send it in because he asked me about it before. Yeah. And I said, if you can just get a copy of a receipt, and uh, which he did, he brought it to me and stuff. Then when he handed it to me, I was like, 
what happened to it? Because it still looked brand new, but when you look down the side and you see the rust all over it and stuff. It's like, well, I left him back at the truck, and he's like, I was working on something, but it was in a five-gallon bucket. Well, it started raining for like a day or two. Well, it filled the bucket up. Hey, so I didn't think nothing about it until the bucket flipped over in the back of the truck, and I seen the drill laying down. Yep. I was like, they're probably not going to cover that. I said that, uh, <laughs> he's like, it was only three months old. I was like, that's not a warranty issue, you know. <laughs> I said, like, we send it off, so we'll just, we'll just see. And I will send it off. And which I've been surprised by some of the stuff that's not on the warranty for people. But now they called and said that that wasn't going to be a warranty Can't issue. Can you help you with this now, one, buddy? They flat rated it and sent me a brand new one back, though. That's still a good deal, though. Was yeah. it 125 125 No matter how bad. And he got a brand new one. That's why I tell everybody, like, everybody's always worried, like, I found this impact on Craigslist or whatever. Guy wants seventy five dollars for it. I'm like, buy it. Yeah. I said, like, two batteries, charger, and a and an impact for seventy five. But I said, go buy it. I said, because even if it don't work, even you snap on guy, one hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah. You got two hundred dollars into a brand new impact with two batteries and charger. Well, just the impact itself yeah. is like two hundred fifty bucks just for the, no batteries. No batteries yeah. is over hundred dollars a piece. Charger seventy five bucks. I mean, just get it, man. Yeah. yeah. Get it, and if it's a CT seven sixty one, you you done even better. Yeah, so. that's what uh, I get. A lot of my used tools, I get. I buy at pawn shops and stuff because I I like stopping at pawn shops uh, more for the looking for uh, guns or tools or just anything, just something different, you know. Right. And uh, anything I can buy and resell, and make some money off of. And you can find a lot of tools. Uh, I mean, you find snap on tools, Mac Co, Mac, the older Craftsman stuff. Um, and if it's cheap, then gee, I buy them up and throw them in the used tow bin and take off with it. There you go. It's all about making a dollar, isn't it? Yeah. But you'd be surprised what you find at some of the places. <laughs> Especially tool wise. Yeah. What you no. got a new hat up there? That no, this one I, and talking about this one or yeah, this one? That one. I found this one in a box in the attic. I mean not in the attic in my shop. I had another one but I sold it already. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I'm these was from couple of years ago mm-hmm. and uh but it's, it's pretty dusty it was in a box but it, it's pretty somebody cool. get it of course though uh world famous face mask oh yeah we bought out of them thank goodness yeah i'm thank glad you. Too. i am too i know those you know. koozies i wish you'd had them in the meetup i think i, done I had them well. all ordered and they just they got here that monday i had a whole bunch of them That'd be a good Father's Day present for somebody. Yeah. And that bottle opener. I got one of them beside my refrigerator in there. I don't know if many people used it during the meetup, but I use it quite often. Because ain't nothing better than a good cold Coca-Cola in a <laughs> bottle. Beverage. <laughs> That's it. Beverage. Absolutely. That's what, uh, I had one guy here, he's like, he's like, that's the stupidest thing ever. I was like, why? He's like, Everything's twist off now. I was like, it's still open. It still opens. It's it. still open it though, yeah. you know. And uh, then he was like, the only time well, I ever use the twist off feature is when I don't have a bottle opener closed because yeah. it's faster, and I'm I get thirsty quick. I got uh, one of these, and I took the bottle opener part off and screwed that part to my refrigerator, and that way because I didn't I didn't want the whole thing on there. Yeah, my don't place. Don't advertise for Snap On since they don't pay. Well, no, I got Snap On on. The- <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't pay nothing. They got snap on on the bottom opener itself. Yeah. But that sucker would get tore off at my place. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put one in on the back of the Jeep. That's a good idea. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mount it on the spare tire holder. Yeah, on that's the back a good of the idea Jeep. right there. I think I'm going to have to do that. There'll be all kind of pictures circulating. on. We just made a new viral thing, didn't we? <laughs> bottle opener mounted on the back of the Jeep. But I'm, I tell you something cool now. I don't know if many people notice this or know it or not, but my buddy Brent Sheffield, you know, he's a Ford Master Tech. He's like, you need to get you one of the new Ford trucks. I'm like, why? He said, they come with a built-in bottle opener on the tailgate. It's on the side of the tailgate. And, uh, hey, I'm proud Ford recognizes the working guys. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The not-so-bougie guys. Yep. (laughs) He ain't drinking champagne on no F-150 tailgate, but you'll tear them beers up. That's pretty neat. Yeah, but that would be pretty cool. I didn't mind us a bottle opener. On yeah, the back of I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check mine out this evening then. 
So I got to clean it up some. Anyway, been got to drive it yesterday finally for the first time in the since Noah's Ark took off over here last week. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's rain, rain, rain. Yeah. So uh, we're thinking about having a little get together Saturday night here at the shop, and I told Hamilton that like. You know, when you're rich, you can do stuff like this guy. Like, they're going to the lake. Because we all know what happens at the lake. They probably sit around and eat salmon and, and caviar and sip on some kind of bubbly champagne that costs $1,000 a bottle. Or you come on my boat and we eat cold hot dogs off the pack with mustard pack. You can get into a mustard pack if you want to. <laughs> Y'all don't believe that. Do not believe that for a minute. That's exactly how it goes. He's got a snap-on boat, okay? A snap-on snap on boat. <laughs> Don't, don't I need to put one of these on my boat. A little bottle on. <laughs> no, so, that's sure enough to get the police so attention. So Hamilton in. said, if I can, if I can get back from the lake in time, I'm, I'm gonna come by here and hang out with y'all for a little while. So if he comes by here, we're gonna try our best to get him tipsy. And if we can get him tipsy, we might turn on the live stream. And let Hamilton, <laughs> Hamilton teach y'all a thing or two. Pull a Tito on y'all. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell y'all something. <laughs> For those of y'all that wasn't here at the meetup on the Friday night, if you don't know who Tito is, I apologize. But it was a, it was a good time. It was had by all. That's all I can say. <laughs> so next year, if we had the meetup, which, well, next year, for those that want to come to the meetup, you need to come on Friday night because the Friday night's a whole lot of fun. Friday night's a lot more relaxing. Saturday is all busy, very yeah. busy. But you just have to remember to pace yourself because you won't be here Saturday morning if you <laughs> run hard Friday night. <laughs> I show guess up, that's the best way to be. Show up after lunch. You know? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Walking, laying against the building, holding your camera. That's it. Well, I noticed you got a whole box of Snap-on bottle openers yep. in here. Got them. We got a few, couple different things in this week. Look how week. cool that is. Like Hamilton's thinking ahead, cause you don't want to drink and drive, so that's why you got to make sure your passenger has the right kind of key on the side of the vehicle. That's perfect. That way you got your bottle open on your keys. If you, need you know, to in Mississippi they call that a church key. Church key? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I don't know. Oh. I'm serious. I've I heard thought that. it was a joke. Uh -uh. <laughs> like, you know, the bartenders, the ones that the bartenders have, that's usually a long, flat yep. piece, but they call it a church key here. I don't I don't get it. But I might have to pay attention. I usually, I, by the time we get in to use these, I'm not listening very well. So. Why is that? You're <laughs> yeah. not opening knee highs, huh? Getting uh, orange sodas. Sidetracked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Easily get sidetracked. See, I got sidetracked talking about bottle openers, and you're talking about tools, so I got to get back on task. Here. Oh, no, I'm talking about these. <laughs> no, we did get these in this week. I ain't got a whole, or we got a few things. Snap on, come out with a new light. Are you serious? They never do that. Actually, this one ain't a new one. This is one of the older ones, but these. I've, actually got, the, I've actually got that light. These are nice. I like these. That's the one that you, it's got the magnetic yep, pops that, on the headband. Detaches. Yeah. You know, I don't even use mine on a headband because I'm not a headband light, but I like to use it underneath a vehicle. And I like to use it when I shoot videos because I can stick that magnet on there and you can angle it down. And and the great part about these is the size of them. Yep, they're thin. Yeah. Thin. Right. There we go. And here's the headband. I'm gonna open that up. But you can see it does attach. But like Clay saying, you put it wherever you I need like to. Right there. And you can angle it, it'll swivel yep. and angle. And to whatever angle that you need to go to. Yep. And like you can turn it to fit whatever light needs you want. That's pretty cool. But yeah, they ain't had a whole lot of time put anything on the truck this week. We're having to, uh, cause I got the arc anchored up out there in my front yard right now. Probably gonna let him go this evening. <laughs> keep my driveway from washing away anymore what it already has <laughs> yeah hamilton's driveway got washed away he's like i gotta go buy a culvert yeah. so it done got serious at the hamilton residence yeah <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it drive around you might have to get you one of those military bridges just install you one of them I mean, you ain't gotta worry about it yeah do it with a drop gate that way keep people out <laughs> <laughs> like a moat 
See, when you got Hamilton's money, that's why you got to live, you know, because everybody's always coming up there needing something. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to do that now. Right now, we got a thieving going on around the house. Uh-oh. Luckily, mine ain't been hit yet, but I got five dogs outside, so everybody, and I'm kind of a dick to most of the neighbors, too, keep yeah. them all away. Got to be that way sometime. Yeah, but my neighbor up the road, they're building two houses, him and his son both. Well, I, and, I hate to break it to you. You got an awesome house and shop like where you your little compound is yeah. set up right but it ain't far from your compound is is the methification capital of the world yeah. i believe you know there's a lot of well, methification we, going on in that in that neck of the woods how we got over actually we was riding four of one night and there the place two houses down was up for sale had four and a half acres over there i was like we'll try to buy that we called them on monday and it's already under contract was like well dang we was riding around a few months later, and the land that we're at now was up for sale. So we ended up buying it and uh, built our place out there. Was y'all riding around drinking beer? Yeah. Well, On you wasn't drinking and driving. You was probably riding and driving. Yeah, I just ride. You, yeah. I mean, when I drink, I take both hands off the wheel. <laughs> that way you're not drinking and driving. <laughs> But, he's uh, kidding he's kidding like <laughs> i said yesterday we, like we're smart enough to marry women that can drive well enough to yeah. drive us like not mine all to, women can drive everybody now nah, mine to drive you, you gotta give you them a go. driving test before you you marry them. marry them that's right one it don't matter test. if they can cook or not like yeah there's restaurants right there's there's a uh, mexican <laughs> restaurant beside every dollar general in mississippi so you're good to go <laughs> but yeah they uh the house, the land that we was on by, there's a crackhead living there now. And mm -hmm. the one across the road from him is a crackhead, too. Don't mean to offend anybody that might have extracurricular activities. Yeah. But, but hey, have, if you're a crackhead, you're a crackhead. You're a crackhead. It is what it is. Well, he stole about $6,000 worth of stuff from the guy building the house up the road. Mm -hmm. so the bad part is, he's a constable. So That's smart. Right there. Like, <laughs> he was really using his head in that one. <laughs> it ain't worked out very well for him so far because he left his backpack over there with his name and stuff on his backpack. It happens. Yeah. So it's, it's been quite the ordeal. But my other neighbor, he was at home yesterday. He said he's sitting there eating a sandwich, watching TV. He put, got done mowing his yard, pulled his lawnmower up in his carport, and he heard his lawnmower crank up back out and there's another crackhead driving his lawnmower down the road he said he gave him a case of lead poisoning he followed him in the truck he said they were, I, mean, I, I hollered at him dude he just turned looked and waved and he's like he's out of it. he's gone he said he got in the truck and followed him called the law see in mississippi we have and, and not all states are this way yeah but we have what's called a newcastle law yep so that legally gives you the right to give them a dose of lead poisoning. Yep. If they stay and most of the you. time, if you do it right, they won't they won't make it to to bother nobody else again. So that's we've had, ran in that situation on my property when we had a problem out of the great kids on the other side of the road. They uh had quite the ordeal. It's not very often that you go steal from somebody, haul ass the other direction for multiple loud reasons and then turn on call the law on them you know that don't yeah. work out good for you not in mississippi because <laughs> no. they, they will uh they arrest the ones that need to be arrested for sure that's right and the funny part is here like i know some people that have had to uh have issues with people breaking in and usually when they give them a dose of lead poison it's just like one of those oh well yeah at least he won't do it again yeah that's usually the outcome here <laughs> yeah so <laughs> that's what they are constable the one that got the stuff stole from them as the other guy my one neighbor he he got he believes in guns but like when i heard somebody behind my house one time i went out through the woods just dark out there don't try to figure out who it was you know and he's like i just caught a law on them I'm like we don't that's not how we handle it yeah. you know that's why I was talking with the constable, and I told him, or the neighbor told him, he said, no, call 911. He said, no, he said, we're just going to call 811. We ain't calling 911. That's right. Don't want to get in trouble. You know, you got to call 811. That's right. You call before you dig. That's it. That's the only thing that matters in Mississippi. Yeah, you get a big fine for digging before you call. <laughs> and if you can't dig a hole, you just feed the pigs. That's, That's what it works. Got plenty of wild hogs right here to... <laughs> Oh my! Well, the light still burning. Bright. Never know what kind of story you're here on the snap on. Truck. That's right. We'll teach you all kind of stuff you don't need to know, and some stuff you might need to know. Yeah. Well, 
Anything else new come in? Oh, well, that's all. Like I said, I didn't have time to go through much this week. Been trying to. When we gonna get the brushless ratchets in? I got a couple more of them. I seen on the email, so maybe next week. I need I'm to hurry to see up. It. I want the long neck one. That's what like I to want. Have. The long neck. Like I'm thinking about buying one, but I know what'll happen. Uh, they'll come up with a long neck like two weeks after I buy it. Like they did with the brute. But I think that's a perfect <laughs> thing because, like, I still prefer the old ratchets better than the brute, just because of the the speed of them. Yep. The advantage of the brute is when you can't ratchet it, it's strong enough most of the time to get everything out. So, and from what I've heard, Brent brought the new brushless one and he's like dude it's a perfect balance between the two yeah it's strong like the brute but it's fast like the the regular ones yep so i think i'm yeah. gonna think i'm gonna hold off and you want the long neck or standard length long neck yeah that's what i'd like to have the long neck one i love the short ratchet i got now is the brute and then i got the regular long neck which I try to use that regular long neck for everything. I don't ever use my short ones no more. I, if I can get the long one in there, that's what I'm going for. I, I I now, I do eye. like the quarter inch one. I didn't think I'd use the quarter inch as much as I do, but I like it. The I short like or the long The neck. long one. I don't have a long neck. I got the short one. I want a long neck. You need to call your snap-on man and have him order you one. Yeah. <laughs> we had a big meeting the other night, and that's what I told him. I was needing some more electric tools. Cause yeah. When's y'all's tool show? August. August. I think they'll come out with the brushless CT761? I haven't seen that. I have seen some other new cordless tools. I ain't gonna say what it is. Because I haven't been on Facebook much this week, but I'm sure that there is pictures out there. Well, them. just go on and tell us. It's all right. We won't tell nobody else. <laughs> what is, at least what category is it? It's 18 volt. 18 volt. Okay. You ain't gonna tell us? Nah, I say what it is. It's a rivet gun. Rivet gun. Big rivet Ooh, gun. Ooh, big rivet gun. See, y'all always hear the coolest stuff here yeah. first. He just ain't gonna show you no pictures of it. Nah, I ain't gonna show no pictures of it because all the pictures <laughs> I seen had prices on them already. So. Well, but that's yeah, cool. They, I, like I said, I have seen a picture or so, but I'm sure that there's some on Facebook out there. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't been on it much this week, but. Well, are they going to come out with a toolbox similar to the Matco 2S? Like maybe a cheaper line? You heard anything about uh, that? 2S? I didn't even hear about the 2S yet. Yeah, it's the new um, economy box that Matco come out with. They just released it and it's supposed to be a lot cheaper. wonder what the price on them is. I don't know. So we got the Classic Series, which is the lower line ones. See, y'all better hurry up and get rid of all your carts like all your six row roll carts because Harbor Freight's coming out with one. It's going to be sub $400, <laughs> six drawer, and it's supposed to be just like the Snap-on. So. Everything else they post on there is just like the Snap-on ones, they say. I guess you better hurry up and sell whatever you got in inventory because y'all might not ever sell another one again. That's their game plan, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I got they a nice epic put on the way. Out of business. No, there's gonna be a nice set if get dropped off up here in the next week or so. Really? What color is that? Uh, black and candy apple red, two tone. Mm. Y'all hear that? Pretty uh, box. Cool. Never, who who orders an ugly box? <laughs> I've seen some ugly ones out there though. <laughs> <laughs> who orders no. an ugly box? I, yeah, and I wanna seen... know when Snap-on's gonna release the bottom to this 100th anniversary top box. Cause like, we 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 moving way on away from the hundred or about past birthday. the hundred. Yeah, <laughs> I got a hundredth anniversary top box at the house, and that's yeah. what I always wanted. The I want the bottom the bottom box to go with it, but I ain't seen it. You can get the bottom boxes, the regular ones, mm -hmm. and all the other colors. Now, the the trim that they put on that's just a little plastic. Yeah. Thing, so they can't use the excuse that it's got some that. special order. Yeah. Stuff, you know. It's so. probably Chinese made, I imagine. Yeah, so. I'm sure. I mean, it's just a novelty thing anyway, but it's yeah. cool. Like, I still want it's it. Neat. Like, They're I neat. need the bottom box snap on. Y'all need to Somebody, shit or get off the pot. Like Somebody's trying to buy my top box the other day. I said them about it. They want I guess they're going to release the bottom box at the 105th anniversary. <laughs> it's going to say 101 on it or something. <laughs> so, that's right. Yeah. Come on, snap on. So, yeah. somebody tried to buy yours? Yeah, tried to buy mine. 
And that's what I'm gonna say. I really don't wanna get rid of it, but I would though. Well, if they don't come out with a bottom one, I'll have a top box for sale. Yeah. Cause I don't want just the bottom box. I want the whole thing. The whole thing, right. I like the color. I ain't never seen the color that silverish or goldish or. Mm -hmm. Like copper looking yeah. color. I wish I'd do boxes like them. Mm -hmm. Well, they got the they got the big boxes like them. Yeah. The 100th yeah. anniversary ones. I don't know if they're going to be a full-time thing or just a special edition. But Oh, well. Can't never tell. We'll see come uh, SFC. They need to let August. you be on the board of picking cool stuff, and that way, you know. I could do it. Yeah. I know you could. We'll have some Michelob Ultra Blue come <laughs> out. And <laughs> <laughs> Be like some other conversations with upper management. They That's don't like it. what I got to say. They ain't so. gonna like what they ain't gonna like it. But if they would drink enough of them Michelob Ultras, they they'd be like, care. you know what? You're right, Hamilton. Let's give everybody a free toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> Snap on be the most most popular. <laughs> they, they go viral instantly right there. <laughs> give away one thousand toolboxes this week. That's it. Everybody that buys a ratchet gets a free free <laughs> epic box, but it, the ratchet is thirty seven thousand. <laughs> I could do something like that, man. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get back in here and get something done. Thank God it's Friday and we're looking forward to the weekend. Yep. But like always, thank you all for hanging out with us. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Click over here if you want some merchandise, cool tools and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you press that button. It's easy. Y'all have a great weekend. See you next time.